Hi everyone, sorry for not uploading recently. I was in Cornwall and I'm just making some Cornwall vlogs and they're coming up and I'll post those soon. So look forward to that. But much more serious topic, today I wanted to talk about A-level results day or whatever that mess was that happened on Thursday. This is particularly close to my heart because I was screwed over by A-levels a lot in terms of predictions and stuff and thinking about how it would have been for me would have been not good at all and I can't even imagine how you guys must feel right now. So I want to offer some support for you guys and I've got some really helpful tips and links that I want to share with you and I'll pop them all down in the description as well so make sure you check that. So first things first let's go through all this helpful stuff that you might need. And yeah, that's what I want to talk about today and I'm going to do everything I can to help you guys and I'll explain how. The first thing is I live in the South Staffordshire constituency, bear with me, and my MP is Gavin Williamson, the Education Secretary now. MPs are, I believe they're obligated to reply to their constituents, so I will send an email to him on your guys behalf explaining the situation and everything and and see what I can do to sort it out. I know that there's been a lot of um, open letters and things going around on Twitter so if I can and if people agree I'll try and send those over to him as well and just every single sort of link so if you know an open letter that's going around or you've got something that you'd like me to put in the email then please let me know you can comment it or DM me on Instagram or just drop a link to it anywhere. And yeah, I'll find it and I'll forward anything you want to say to Gavin Williamson and he is pretty much obligated to respond, I think so. So that's the first thing. The second thing is, that, now this is for you if you've decided to do, I don't want to call it V-sits because that makes it sound like you've already sat it and this is a first sit. And yeah. <laughs> So I've currently got my own university exams like to, in, a, in a week or two's time but once that is over, hopefully starting at the beginning of September, I'm planning to do live streams once or twice a week where I can go over any questions you guys might have about A-levels or past papers or anything. Now I did my A-levels in maths, further maths and religious studies. Now obviously I study a maths degree so I can help you with that a lot and with religious studies I'm looking to do a master's in philosophy anyway and I'm also published in philosophy in a philosophy article especially on the philosophy of science which if you're doing the same exam board as me you may be covering as well and I can also help I think a bit with English language and physics because I've been doing mathematical physics at uni and I did an English language AS level so I can help with all those sort of things and I'll let you guys know more when I'm planning to do that but do let me know if you're interested. Other things that might be useful to you, a friend of mine called Tolu Duckworth, she has her own YouTube channel which I'll link of course. She's an Oxford medic and on Twitter she's made a thread of all the people who are offering free tutoring services for various A-level subjects for people who are sitting exams in the autumn. So I'll link her thread down below so you can get help from there as well if you've decided to do the exams. As well as that, Ibsmo, if you know him, he's a recent HSPS graduate from Cambridge University and if you were an offer holder for Cambridge, you're from a disadvantaged background and you missed... you didn't miss it but they made you miss your offer for HSPS, then DM Ibsmo and he can help you and I will link his stuff down below as well. And any of the useful links I find where whilst I'm uploading this video I'll pop down there as well so make sure you check that description box. And finally I just want to speak to you guys a bit more personally. I am so so sorry for you guys and what you were going through. I, I can't even imagine how hard this must be for you to go through this and even if you have got the results you wanted it's still might feel a bit strange in this whole situation. You have had your futures played with and it's been out of control, completely out of your control and it's just so, so unfair. And I will just say remember which government did this when it comes time to vote because most of you are likely of voting age right now. Our generation has been just so screwed over by climate change 
Brexit, the government in general, and now this, and it's, it's just such a crap situation. And I know it might be really easy for people to say, like, oh, it's fine, just take a gap year. It's not as easy as that. People might not want to take a gap year for a variety of reasons. Perhaps you're in the closet and university was your chance to finally come out and be yourself. Maybe, maybe you're lonely and you just can't wait to make new friends at uni or join a society for something you're interested in. Maybe you suffer abuse at home and university was your chance to escape all that and put it behind you. Or maybe you're on the brink of homelessness and a student loan was your chance to secure somewhere safe to live while studying. Maybe you always have to look after your siblings at home or something and university was your chance to finally be more independent. Or maybe you were just prepared and hyped up and ready to go to uni just in that headspace and now everything just feels like a mess. The point is there's so many reasons why people don't want to take a gap year. It's really not just easy as take a year out and work or take a year out and travel, especially in the current job market and the fact that there's a pandemic going on. Working and traveling might be a lot tougher to do in this next year anyway. I hope this can help. I don't really want to just like give motivational quotes because I know that it can sound very trite coming from me because you know I'm already at uni. But I will say just do your best and stay positive. And I know that's really easy for me to say, but I hope you can. <laughs> and if you do happen to find yourself at Nottingham University this next year, then um, welcome. And yeah, just let me know if you've got any questions about all that and I'll do my best to help. So yeah, a bit more of a sober, sober, somber, I don't know the word bit more of a low-key video today but I'm trying to help as much as I can. It's a crap situation, this situation would have screwed me over, it would have screwed so many people I know over and it's screwed so many of you guys over. You are all really deserving and it's a bit of a slap in the face not just to you but also to the teachers who are experienced at predicting these grades so that the government think they can just let some computer guess it. I defied the computers and the statistics that everyone spoke about every single time. They predicted me to fail my maths GCSE, I got an A. They predicted me to fail all my science GCSEs, all A's. They predicted I would get a D in further maths, I got a B and I got 73 out of 75 in one of my exams in FP2. They predicted me to get a C in my maths A before I got an A star. What I'm saying is, the computer doesn't know anything and it's crap. I'll post any more advice and links I can find down below, so make sure you check those out. And yeah, hang in there. You got this, and see you soon.